Hello, my name's Jeff Whistle, and I am the Chief Accessibility Officer of Disability Inn. I am proud to say that I am legally blind with a degenerative eye disease called retinitis pigmentosa. My vision loss truly is one of my greatest strengths. Disability Inn is a leading nonprofit organization that empowers business to achieve disability inclusion and equality. It's an honor for me as CAO of Disability Inn to share a few perspectives on National Disability Employment Awareness Month with each of you. It's commonly known as NDEAM or NDEAM. And during October, we recognize the key roles that people with disabilities play in an inclusive and diverse workforce. This year, I've reflected a lot on my professional career as a person with vision loss. I hope some of these reflections connect with you. Finding your inner voice. This is something that took me a long time. I have an in invisible or non-apparent disability with vision loss, and I spent a lot of my life trying to hide my vision loss. I didn't have my inner voice, and I actually viewed my vision loss as a weakness or a vulnerability. This was true until I realized the power of a mentor. I was introduced to a colleague who had lost her vision a long time ago, and she helped me to embrace my vision loss as a strength and not as the perceived weakness or vulnerability I once thought it was. With this newfound inner voice, and allowing myself to feel vulnerable and embrace my vision loss and acknowledge it, things changed. I also had the opportunity to help launch an employee resource group for individuals with disabilities. All of this helped me to gather information around vision loss. I engaged with the disability communities and I identified as being blind, low vision. The more information I gathered around others who were successful with vision loss, assistive technologies and things that were out there to help help me with vision loss, the more I made better decisions. And it also helped me to really understand the value of my own professional stock, as we say. I was able to identify the skills and the, the lived experience that I bring to the table and my diversity of thought that my disability empowers me with to really understand that my skills are separate of vision loss. When in the past, my vision loss used to get in the way of me. If you know that you would benefit from self-disclosing your disability to your accommodations team, but haven't yet for various reasons, I encourage you to do so this October. It's important to network internally. And one of the easiest ways to do this is to join an employee resource group. And over time, take a leadership role. It's also important to network externally with individuals who work in the same field that you do. This way you get to share best practices and learn from each other, cross company collaboration. LinkedIn is a good example of this type of service that can help with that. It's also important when we think about ending to be prepared with the, the basics. Make sure that you're comfortable with the Microsoft suite of products, such as Word, PowerPoint, Excel, and definitely Outlook. Also Google Docs, as well as since many of us work from home or hybrid work, being comfortable with Zoom Microsoft Teams conferencing, WebEx, Google Meet, all these different platforms that we're so accustomed to today and all the accessibility features that are baked into them. ND, NDEAM is all about disability employment awareness. And it's always been a personal decision whether or not to self-disclose a disability. My personal recommendation is to embrace your disability and self-disclose during the interview process. Whether you're a nationwide candidate for employment or you're an existing employee going for promotion, I encourage you 
to, during the interviews, highlight how your disability empowers you to be creative, effective, efficient, and competitive. Here's to wishing everyone a successful and inspiring Endeam 2022.